All right, guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. I know it's been a little bit, but I'm starting to make some videos again. Uh, first video in, coming up here is going to be about clustering Proxmox. I have four uh, mini HP Elite Desk 705s, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cluster them into a four node cluster. So let's start by logging in to my first node. All right, you're going to go to the data center tab, go to cluster, and create cluster. I'm going to give it a name. In my case, I'm naming it R uh, Ravenhawk Tech or RHT Cluster 01. Uh, there's only one link here, so I'm just going to go ahead and say this IP address of 1.41. 1 .1, uh, Preferably, you would use a secondary link and you would use a different IP address so that way that network traffic would be off to the side. As I don't have that, I'm just going to use my default. Give it a minute to create. Okay, everything seems to be good there. And now you see the first node. Now to make the other nodes in the cluster, go to Join Information, Copy Information, Log into your next node. Go to Data Center, Cluster, and Join Cluster. Put in your peers password. And you can, of course, adjust anything else here. Resolved by nodes, host name, peer IP address, so forth and so on. You'll see all this information here. You can go ahead and go join cluster. Now, one thing that I've noticed is the page will error out on you during the cluster creation. So this will just pretty much sit here and sometimes will just error out. But if you go back to the primary cluster, you'll notice that if you refresh this page, the second node is already there. But you'll notice here it's still saying stopping cluster and so forth and so on. So you can leave it, let it do its thing, or you can just close out the window because you've already confirmed that the cluster has been created. A little bug in this revision, I would assume, so let's just hope that it's fixed in later ones. All right, we'll go ahead and I'll add the remaining clusters and then I'll take you through the next step. All right, so the next steps are going to be dependent on your cluster. Um, do you need to add external storage? Do you want to set up Ceph storage, um, which is cluster distributed storage? Um, with my cluster, I have four mini PCs. They currently have 256 gig uh, NVMEs. When I ran a Ceph cluster initially, um, it used up all the space. So I'm going to do some testing on that and find out exactly what happened. Um, so yeah, uh, I was going to continue this and do Ceph storage, but that didn't work. And that happens sometimes. And, you know, we just move on to the next step. This is a home lab. So, you know, it grows when changes with your needs. All right, everybody, I hope that you appreciate this video. If you do, please leave a like. If you don't, leave a like. Uh, or <laughs> leave a comment. Tell me what you do and do not like, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, if you want to and would like to support this channel, please subscribe. And until uh, next time, see you guys later. Bye.